Hey, hey, Bryson. Uh, in this, in the spring and in the summer, we were talking to Coach Longo, Coach Galloway, and even uh, Coach Lilly. Um, all three of them were talking about various elements of the passing game, and they said that you've been spread out a lot, not just doing stuff at tight end, but even at slot uh, and some of the things. Where are you now with res- you know, midway through camp with respect to getting reps outside of just tight end? And how are you guys utilizing the tight end a little bit differently to get a couple of you on the field to take advantage of you and Kamari, your skills? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're definitely using a lot more tight ends. Uh, I mean, me, Kamari, John, uh, you know, we've all had a lot of reps in slot. We've had some outside, some tight end. Uh, but for me, mostly, I've really just been kind of moving uh, throughout those three spots. Uh, so, I mean, there's sometimes I'm in there with Kamari. Sometimes I'm in there with John. Uh, sometimes all three of us are in there at the same time. So uh, we've been doing good with the kind of opening back up the offense to the tight ends. How would you characterize the tight end room? It looks to uh, Coach Longo said last week that that's the one room that they really know a lot about on offense. It looks to me like you have three guys that can do pretty much whatever the job uh, entails. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were just talking about it earlier. Uh, I mean, we have no problem with putting, you know, either of us in there at tight end. Uh, it's really just kind of which situation we want, with, uh, what block we want to have, uh, that type of stuff. So, cool. Thank you. Uh, Luciano, go ahead. Hey, Bryson, I hope you're doing well and thanks for your time. With Antoine Green being out for probably a couple of months, have the coaches talked to you about the possibility of moving you to wide receiver probably on a more regular basis? And how would you feel about such a move? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I definitely have no problem with it. Uh, you know, I did it a little bit last year. Uh, I've been doing it now a little bit too. But, uh, I mean, we have a really deep receiver room. I mean, uh, Gavin, uh, JJ, Andre Green's been showing out, uh, Kobe Pesor. So uh, we're really good in the tight end or in the receiver room right now. Uh, Ross, go ahead. Yeah, Bryson, kind of following up on that. I mean, are you specifically working with the wide receivers day to day? And if so, and, and when you are used the wide receiver, are you think in a game, like how are they going to use you? Are you going to be on certain packages? Are you going to be in zone threat? Like, how does that kind of look from your perspective? Right. Uh, I mean, right now it's kind of pretty open to everything. Uh, I mean, I've, I've run the same offense that all of our other outside receivers are running right now. Uh, I mean, we definitely have our red zone packages and all that, but uh, you know, all of us have really just been able to, you know, kind of just go anywhere in the offense. And how have you had to adjust to maybe being more of a wide receiver? Or was that natural for you coming from high school? Uh, what have you had yeah, to make? Yeah, I would say it was pretty natural coming from high school. Uh, you know, definitely playing seven on seven in high school as well. Uh, all that was playing outside receiver. Uh, but I mean, it's fun. I mean, I love doing it. Uh, love blocking on the outside. Love blocking on the inside. So uh, it's been real fun. Thanks. See Brown. Yeah, Bryson, I was curious, like mentally, what what's the difference between when you're lined up as a tight end running a route and when you are, say, split wide as a receiver running a route? Is, is there anything that really, you know, you do differently mentally in, in terms of what you need to be prepared for? Uh, I wouldn't really say so. I would say uh, really wherever I am, uh, I try to be the most aggressive receiver I can because uh, I mean, if I'm going against DBs, aggression will help me. And especially if I'm going against linebackers, uh, aggression as a receiver will help me. So uh, really just being as physical as I can and, uh, you know, running the best route I can, no matter really where I am. And speaking of being physical, how, how do you feel like your blocking is is uh, progressing, you know, primarily as a tight end? Yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen it improving. Uh, Coach Lilly's definitely been helping me get the fundamentals. Uh, well, he helped me get the fundamentals last year. Now I'm kind of building onto that to kind of uh, displacing blockers and, you know, being a good uh, lead blocker. Does much of that change with Coach Brown was talking about the rule change in terms of being able to cut defenders blocking? Has that been a big adjustment for you too? Uh, a little bit. I mean, in practice, we never really cut anyway. Uh, so I'm not really used to cutting, but uh, I, I guess we'll have to see whenever kind of game time comes and, you know, we got the nickels running straight down at us. Thank you. Okay, uh, Adam Smith, I assume you have a question next. Are we unmuted? Yep. Yes, thank you, Kimmel. Bryson, uh, just wondering, would you consider yourself a tight end who moonlights at wide receiver some or, or a wide receiver that moves over and plays tight end? Like, how do you, how do you think about yourself as a football player? Yeah, uh, I would say a tight end first. Uh, you know, my position here is tight end, but uh, it just so happens that I can run all the routes at outside and block outside. So uh, I would say tight end. 